a special since you already saw the title of the video indie author self-published author that i read in 2018. hi everyone this is natalie the blogger i told you that i want my channel to give way more way more visibility to indie author uh, that um, struggle just by itself at uh, having people to read their work and to talk about their work and uh, since I am a fellow one, so it matters big time for me to read them and to talk about them. So From the bottom to the top, you have to start somewhere, right? So, Red Hope by John Drees. Uh, uh, I think it was the Discovery rover on the surface of Mars made a discovery and I think... <laughs> This is exactly something that I said in another video, but I can't help myself. This is such an easy one. A specific and mysterious artifact, and uh, which suggests that someone, some being, has been onto Mars. So they are uh, making a team, they have some super fast rocket, and they are going onto Mars to investigate that artifact. Some stuff will happen, uh, insane, crazy stuff, and then I'm not gonna say more, otherwise I'm giving you everything. I did a very detailed review on to the specific genre on sci-fi, Planet Mars and its colonization. Let's check it out. If it's not here, it's gonna be on the description box. Uh, so you will know more about that story. I gave it one star and uh, that's why I suggest you to check out the video to understand why. Body in the Bookstore by uh, Emma Lee. Sadly, another one star. The young uh, teenager is, uh, has been found dead in the bookstore of her parents. And uh, pretty much quickly, another body of a young teenager has been found and uh, the whole city suspect the last inhabitant of the small town. She is a former uh, big shot writer, divorced, and she just want to have some quiet uh, time. And um, yeah, just because she's the new one in town, so everyone suspect her. That's wonderful and uh, delightful. Let's jump into the two stars. We are getting higher, slightly. Uh, Mortal Gods by uh, Alex Manea. It's uh, nowadays, we have gods. Well, this is the names of the Greek gods, but well, you have to read. I'm not gonna get into it. It seems that they are at war with uh, the Vatican, but it's not exactly the Vatican. And um, the war is more to stay alive, not to be killed. A civilian, um, a young woman that you just don't know what is she doing into the story, uh, she has been um, caught up in the middle of that whole thing, of the whole mess, and you are following what's going on. Then we have A Cruise to Die For by Beth A. Sager and uh, this is an extremely short one like I think it's 60, 50 pages so it is like a specific scene inside a movie and you are just seeing that scene. Uh, we are on to a cruise ship. A member of the crew has been shot. It turned out there is an FBI agent onto the cruise ship with a private investigator and they have to find what happened to that crew member because uh, apparently a bomb is uh, on board ready to blow up everyone find out who the crazy maniac is behind it and do something about it. Mona Lisa Secrets by Phil Phillips. The main character, Joe Perugia, I think that's uh, the name of the character, is um, discovering that actually his whole family for decades now has been kept hidden, the painting, the real one of the Mona Lisa. And... Um, he is uh, 
willing to make things right and to give back the real painting to uh, the Museum of the Louvre in uh, Paris. Let's check out the three stars. We are getting higher every time. The Ruins of Mars by Delam James Quarles. Two artificial intelligence satellites has been sent over the planet of Mars to map the planet and find some stuff in order to sense a colony, to start colonization of the planets, to terraform then change to make possible for humankind to live on it. And uh, like you can kind of imagine, well, I guess, but you can kind of, because it's pretty much always the same thing. They are finding some runes onto the surface, some buildings, and what is going on? They are sending a team, various one, in, inside there is an archaeologist, a young one, and uh, obviously he's sent there to check out the runes and uh, try to find out who was the civilization who lived there before. So this is the first one of the trilogy, The Gallery of the Dead by Mary Bowers. Um, new team, TV, uh, TV team, who investigates um, uh, ghostly mentioned and uh, houses throughout the United States. They first uh, TV show will be on specific mention in Florida with a ghostly mention. Well, maybe not, but the night around midnight when they are gonna shoot the first episode, a specific and tragic event happened and it will switch turn tables onto that whole story and then you have your mystery. So we have mix of maybe ghost, maybe not ghost. Alice in Murderland by Samantha Silver. Alice, I uh, think she is in her 20s or close to her 30s. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> she is leaving Florida to go live in uh, Oregon in small town Sapphire Village uh, to join her relatives, family, or her relatives, or I should say her birth. Uh, mother or family and the minute she uh, get out of the airport welcome guess what you are a witch and the whole family are witch and wizard and pretty much everyone in the city back there are so interesting to still live with us and the minute that she put her foot into the village a dead woman in the middle of the street. A match made in spell by uh, Regina Welling and Erin Lynn. A young uh, witch, I can uh, say it that way because it's uh, not a new discovery. It's a, a, a well known for us that she is. She lost her mother, her grandmother, in sort of a mythical epic tragedy that's her wizard world known so well and uh, she has been taken care of by some fairies and it reminds me so much of the fairies like tinkle bells uh, of um, uh, sleeping beauty for instance well this isn't they are not tiny uh, but uh, they are very funny and uh, she is uh, having um, uh, matchmaking agency if you want because of her natural ability of uh, witch uh, she can find who's soulmate of whom and make them come together and uh, the small problem is that she knows that she is a witch but she wasn't able so far to activate her power really I mean that way and uh, that's why she is trying to achieve. And uh, some mystery behind her family and her past will be uncovered. And it was really funny. It was really delightful. And I can't wait to keep reading. Going into the four stars, Telling Lies by Ella Dobbs, a thriller mystery. The dead body of a young woman is has, is, has, been, has been found in the river nearby a camping ground. You have in the background another mystery surrounding the death of one of the police department, because this is from a small town, 
word of them has been uh, shot dead um, kind of mysteriously. We, they don't know exactly why, but something is going on and they try to find out. It was really good at finding who is the guilty one and, uh, and why and everyone can be guilty. The Girl with Nine Lives by uh, E. Earl. A uh, young woman, I think it's between the 20s, 25, 30s, I don't remember exactly. No, it was the beginning. Uh, she is struggling of uh, getting a real, well, a real gig, a real contract, a permanent contract at teaching uh, in a school. So she is kind of trying to fill space in the meantime and are uh, teaching some stuff that she doesn't know anything so she's struggling in life she doesn't feel well and are uh, kind of depressed until the day that a cat will come into her life and he looks like exactly the one that she grew up with who died maybe or disappeared nobody knew and pretty much quickly she really realized that he can talk and she can talk to him interesting you're gonna say i agree a mystery will happen at school and they will be kind of in the middle of it her and the cat and um yeah some stuff will happening so it's a cozy mystery so it's not a big one a huge uh, a huge one um but it was so much enjoyable and or uh, and with the, the cat as well but maybe if you don't like maybe you don't gonna have feel that emotion excitement we are going into the five stars or it could be ten stars say it this way <laughs> it's uh, gonna be limelight by uh, emily morgan uh, this is the name of the series and the name of the first one in uh, victorian time london following a young reporter who is uh, helping Scotland Yard at uh, finding what happened to a uh, famous actress who has been sh found shot dead in the cemetery. But it appeared that actually she was already dead five years ago in a sinking ship on the Thames. So what is really happened surrounding her death or which death, the first one or the second? This is what you gonna learn and uh, it was really nice written, the whole premise, who did it, mostly why and how was life for women at that time and specifically when you try to make a difference to have a career. It was it was brilliant. The serial of the Colony Morse by uh, Gerald M. Kilby. Ah, it's never the same. Gerald M. Killy. I'm sorry. Every time I said it wrong. You have Colony One and Colony Two Morse. This is the two first that I read so far. Next year will follow the two last of the series. A private group has uh, sent a group of fifty person to start colonizing the planet Mars after a huge sandstorm onto the planet. They lost all contact with Earth. Three years later well, still no contact, they are sending the NASA a small team to go there and investigate, trying to find out what happened. They are pretty much quickly going on to Colony 1, which is the first site of uh, the colony, and uh, they found some dead bodies, but definitely not 50 person, uh, 15, <laughs> 50 per, uh, oh, I'm gonna get it right. It definitely not represents all of the group dead. In ours, their commander captains of uh, their team is suddenly getting sick, getting ill. He wants to kill everyone, so he definitely catch a mysterious illness, and that it is pretty much dead or alive. That um, the doctor Ian Malbec has to find out what this mysterious illness is and try to save everyone else from the team and obviously to stay alive. Colony 2 Mars will be the second. We'll set a few years after the end of the first one. I try not to say too much, otherwise it's revealing too much. You can say that Earth is becoming more a threat to Mars. Yes, 
You didn't see that coming, but I can tell you it is because of what's going on on Tumors. And because of what's going on at Tumors, the Dr. Yuan Malbeck has to go slightly further onto the second site of the first group, Colony 2, and try to find out, to find some answers, and again, try to stay alive. I can tell you that this series is fast-paced, especially the first one, it's like, in few days, everything happened, it's insane. And uh, the Dr. Jan Malbeck, it is kind of, if you want the John McClane character, uh, she can be a bit slow and a bit lazy at getting done things, but when she is in the middle of the thing, she is going fully for it. And um, it was such a pleasure and such an enjoyment. And the, the writing is so good. This is definitely something that I strongly advise you to read. So this is everything from the indie self-published author that I read in 2018. There will definitely be way more in 2019. That's why I'm going to do probably every two months a specific uh, video onto them telling you what I read and what I like and uh, not that much. And uh, so it's going to be easier for you to keep following and try for yourself because there are definitely some talented people try to read for the pleasure. And until then, you can subscribe so you're not going to miss any new video. I will be so much thankful to you and see you next time.